Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 8th. Yeah, I think so. I'm the Cajun Bell. I show you every day what a full-time reseller sells on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari, and it is the 8th. Yes. <laughs> All right, first we have a question from Tammy. Um, she said, one, why do you like selling clothing over something such as hard goods? Um, it's not that I don't like hard goods. I do. Uh, I, I'm a collector of like art and other things, rocks, minerals, coffee cups. <laughs> it's not that I don't like hard goods. I, I enjoy searching for hard goods and looking through the hard goods section a lot, but clothing is easy and I'm taking the path of least resistance. I have a little list here of why I like clothing. Number one is because I like clothing. <laughs> I've always liked clothing. I've always liked clothes. Even as a kid, my mom used to call me a clothes horse. I've always loved clothes. I liked picking out my own clothes. I liked, I was very opinionated about my clothing and what I would wear and stuff like that. So, you know, clothing is an expression of who you are. So, I don't know. I just, I've always liked it because it is a way of expressing yourself. Um, number two, I have easy storage and easy shipping. You know, you can fit a thousand items of clothing in a very small space. And I do fit a thousand items of clothing in a very small space. Hard goods, thousand pieces. You're talking about a lot of space and I don't have that type of space. We don't have basements in Louisiana. I can't, I can't, uh, go throw everything in a basement. Maybe I would be different. Maybe everything would be different if I had that option. I don't know. Um, but this, my space does definitely limit me. So we have that. I mean, you look right here behind me. This is going to be 150 listings or 160 or something like that. And that's probably another, hundred or so. So just right there, just this small space can fit like 300 items. That's a lot. That's one of the reasons I've also stopped doing the shoes because they do take up so much space and that's a limit for me. Unfortunately, it just is. Of course, if y'all watch my channel, you know this, I don't think I would do well also with the hard goods because I don't like a lot of mess and I don't like a lot of clutter. So that would also make it hard for me, just personally. Whereas the clothes, it's a lot neater and that type of thing. So I think that would definitely be something that would drive me crazy if I did hard goods. So um, number three, less research. So much less research. Um, if you're picking up, you know, a, I don't know, pottery base today, and you're picking up some piece of electronics tomorrow and the next day you're picking up something else you're gonna have to research each one of those things if you're if you're not niched down and know those things whereas clothing yes there's a little bit of research obviously go that goes into some of it you know if you're picking up at a pair of athletic pants you gotta find the style but it's quick so and because we tend to find the same brands over and over and over again we do get very good at finding you know those things and honestly I mean if I can't find the style I move on and I do I, I always look for the style very quickly and if I can't find it I move on and just make a listing you know I'm not gonna you know um like spend 20 minutes finding the style of an item and limit myself that way because in 20 minutes I can have two more listings up so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on a piece of clothing whereas I feel like if you have something that is um you know a collectible this this coffee cup for example it's definitely it's a Gibson it's definitely from the 80s I can't see it it actually has the date on the bottom of it I don't know where my glasses are or I would, I would check to see what the date is. I bet it's from the 80s. But, you know, something like that would take a little bit more research. And if it's something like super rare, now I'm curious. I'm probably drinking out of a lead-filled cup. <laughs> if it's something that's really rare. I mean, I've come across, you know rare clothing that needs more research and and vintage stuff you know 
but you're probably coming across more of that more often if you're doing hard goods, right? Does that make sense? So you're like the research is the research is definitely something cons to consider. And that's I like research. My former job that I enjoyed a lot, didn't enjoy the stress of the job, but I actually enjoyed the work of the job involved a ton of research and I loved it. I absolutely love research. So that part of it, I know I would enjoy. So there you go. And I can understand where the people that don't mind a cluttery um, job, I guess. <laughs> would enjoy finding older items that they can research and you know that type of thing number four is the most important reason it's the abundance anytime you you go to any thrift store you go to any um resale shop anywhere you go to shop for clothing or for things to sell what do you see you see clothing it's, there's an abundance. There's always clothes. There's always stuff to buy. Always. So that is a huge reason. Now, we don't have yard sales here. So I can see where if you live in an area that has yard sales year round and it's a highly populated area. This is not a highly populated area either. We are very, very rural here. Um, by choice. You know, I could go and live in New Orleans or Baton Rouge. I don't want to. But because I live in such a rural area, I don't have access to a lot of hard goods either. So that's another reason. Whereas I do have access to good clothing. So it's really about that. Probably that's probably like the biggest reason why I stick to clothing because of the huge abundance of it. And it's just always there. I can always get tons of clothing for really cheap so obviously <laughs> okay that's it um she had a two-parter actually that's not it i'm lying she had a two-parter she had another question it says when you talk about redoing titles and i've had this question before so this is a very good question thank you tammy when you talk about redoing titles what do you do how do you rework them i rearrange words add, remove words, check spelling, etc. Yes, I do all those things, definitely. Um, and yes, I have found those problems in my listings many times before. I cannot tell you how many listings I have found in the past month that was Antonio Mulaney and I had Antonio Melanie. Added an E for some reason because I used, my manager's name was Melanie at my old job. That's why, I know that's why. So I had to type her name out a lot. <laughs> So I just naturally add the E on every time. <laughs> I know that's what, what happened there, but there's other stuff too. I mean, I, it definitely, it, it happens, you know, that you misspell stuff. I'm better at checking for that kind of stuff now, but this definitely happens. I am going to show y'all, I'm going to set up a little, my laptop over here at the end of the video. I'm going to show y'all my sales first because there's not a lot of them. Yay, Monday. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you all the end of the video exactly what I do. I'll do, I'll pull up like two or three examples and different types of, you know, like I'll pull up like my oldest, oldest, and then some of the middle ones. And then, so y'all can see exactly what I do. Coffee's good. I gotta stop drinking it though. Let's, let's, let's get to this. So then we can get to the end of the video and you know, we can do titles together. Several people have asked me to do their titles before, so. I'm glad you asked, uh, Tammy, because it's very helpful. Okay, first up is Mazook. I need to move you out of my way. First up is Mazook. I have never seen anything like this from Mazook. I always find the knitwear and I always pick it up. This is your tag. M I S O O K. It's an extra large, which is great. It's like this little career shell that you wear under your jacket or whatever. It is new with tags. I don't have the original price on it, but this one's actually still on the website too. But it's a cute little, just a little polyester shell top. Um, I love picking up this brand. I pick it up all the time. Every time I see it, I pick it up. I don't think I've ever passed this brand up and I don't think it's ever sat. So it's a pretty popular brand. There are some items that can sit, you know, a month or two, but 
for the most part, Miss Look does very, very well. And their tag looks just like Miss Look, M-I-S-S-L-O-O-K. Looks just like it. So, don't pick up Miss Look. <laughs> I hate Miss Look's tag, honestly, because I see it all the time. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, Miss, Miss Look. No, not Miss Look, Miss Look. Stupid tag, very stupid. It sold in six days for $35. And after fees and shipping, I make $30.11. So that's an excellent one. Cost of goods is not on there. I think I'm gonna try to like stop talking about my cost of goods. I'm gonna try, like if I just happen to know. It's good to know, but honestly, for y'all, it doesn't matter what I make off of this. If I paid $30 for this shirt, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, your costs are what matter, not my cost. I mean, I didn't pay $30. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. I think I paid three for that one, so that one's a good one. All right. This is a terrible brand. I was picking it up a while back. I, it sold in one year and three months, so that tells you how long it's been since I picked it up. I'm pretty sure it came from the bins, so there you go. But it's normal Kamali which you think would do okay. And these are current. If you go to her web, the Kamal Culture website, I'm looking for the tag. The tag's in a weird spot. I remember that. I don't know how I remember that, but I do. But there it is, it's on the side. It's Kamal Culture. And I was finding a lot, it's like one of these like system wardrobe capsule type things is what this is very minimalist and it's not popular so there you go <laughs> i think i have a skirt in this brand too that i picked up around the same time and it just does not do well so it took forever to sell finally sold after a year and three months which is entirely too long for $16.65, I make $11.54 on that one. So definitely not a brand I pick up anymore. I actually saw some recently whenever I was at this store. So it must be sold at Nordstrom or Macy's. Y'all, I'm so excited to get this stuff going. I did finally get it all counted. I got it all laid out. It is ready. We are ready to roll. So I am so Super, super excited to get it going. Just, you just don't even know. Excited to get this pile out of my way. <laughs> and just excited to start making some money on this stuff. So, so excited. Such great filler stuff for my store. Get those listings up. All right. That it was everything for eBay. Only two sales. I actually only had one sale yesterday. The... Bazook was from this morning, so I am kind of wondering, what are you doing, eBay? Because that's rare to only have one sale on eBay for a whole day. It's so rare. A little bit of me, you know, because I've been so busy with all this mess. I haven't really got to list this week yet. I mean, it's only been one day of the week, but still, I haven't been listing. So, it's a little bit me, but I think it's a little bit eBay, too. <laughs> this is my cloth. It's a size small. I've had these forever. I say these because I had like 10 of them because they were less than a dollar <laughs> a long time ago. Um, actually, I picked these up right at the time I went full time, maybe before. That's how old this is. Um, I have one year, three months on here, but I have a feeling that's because I probably did some. No, I remember I did it. I did some inventory stuff and found this one that was not listed. So it got listed a year and three months ago, which is way too long. But I got a crap ton of mod cloth back when I first started or before I first started going full time. <clears throat> and a lot of it sold. But 
these skirts were not popular at all. So I'm glad to see them go finally. Glad to see this one out of here. And hopefully this is my last one. Who knows at this point? I hope so. I'm pretty sure it is. It's time to do inventory again, actually. Obviously I'm not doing it right now because it's 188 degrees outside every day. <laughs> it's not 188. It is about 110. <laughs> so I am ready though. I'm really, really ready to get in there and do some inventory and clean up that. Maybe by the time I'm done with all this, it'll be time to do that. That would be great. Maybe we'll get some cool weather to do that. Sold for 15. And I make $9.98 after fees. But like I said, one year and three months. I'm almost to the point where I don't even pick up my cloth at all. And I know my cloth has some cute stuff. Novelty stuff. Novelty I will pick up. That's about it. And I don't ever see novelty. So, you know. Uh, their, their Christmas stuff does very well. So, I will pick up that. I just showed y'all recently a, a, like a unicorn sweater I picked up. Um, I'll pick stuff like that up. But, like, that is plain not worth picking up. My cloth is a hard sale at this point. It really, really is. Trust me, I know. I have sold a lot of my cloth in my life <laughs> just because I got so much of it. And then this last one is one that I was really happy to um, find out about. So I see this brand a lot in my area. Um, it's Southern Marsh. So it's probably sold a lot in my area if I had to guess. You know, it's a local brand, blah, blah, blah. It's a Southern brand, obviously, Southern Marsh. So, I was seeing a lot of this. So, I went in and did a search on eBay. This is really cute. I'll show you all the whole thing because it really is. It's nice. It's like this fleece pullover Aztec, you know, jacket. Really cute jacket. I think it was a good size, maybe. Maybe it was a good size. I can't see it. It's a large, maybe. It's kind of faded. I can't I can't tell. I need those glasses back again. Anyway, I went in because I was seeing the brand a good bit in my area. I went in to eBay and did a little bit of research. And when I say that, what I do is I sort by the brand, I sort from highest to lowest prices in the solds. I'll usually do like the last year or so. At first I'll do the 90 days and then I'll look at six months and then I'll look at a year and just see if it's like corresponding, you know, the same stuff because stuff can't go in and out of style, right? So I'll do that. And then I do that in therapy see what is the best selling, you know, it, reoccurring. You know, there's flukes. You're going to see a pair of stupid shorts that sold for $50 and then you're not going to see any more shorts. <laughs> you know, so there are flukes. So, you know, just throw those out and don't use that as information. But when you see multiples of the same type of stuff like these, that's something that sells well in that brand. So, it was these fleece pullovers and there are some type of like stretchy, golfy, nylon pants that, you know, everybody likes. I'm checking those anyway at all stores. Anytime I feel like that stretchy nylon material in the men's pants, I'm always checking the brand anyway. So that's just one of those things I look out for no matter what. So those are the two like bolo-ish items in this brand. And it's not really bolo. This is a good bread and butter. So. Sold for $35. It did take five months, but obviously I listed it right at the beginning of spring. So. <laughs> Should have went on the sweater table, honestly. And that's why I don't list the sweaters during the spring and summer. Because to me, it's a bad use of my time. If I have other stuff to list, why would I list a sweater? When it's not going to sell for five months. I'm not going to be able to get this in. It's not a good use of my time. I would rather just put them aside and list them later when they will sell faster. Personally. 
You do you. That's how I do me. So for $35, five months, like I said. After fees and blah, blah. I make 28 bucks. No, I did pay $7 for this. So my regular average. I got this at my regular Goodwill. So I definitely paid up a little bit for it. Not up, but you yeah. know. That's a, that's a high average, right? $7? Sheesh. All right. So I make 21 bucks on that one. I don't mind that. I will pick those up if I see them again. I like it. And I'm not going to hold that five months against it since I did list it in the spring. That's my fault, not its fault. All right. Um, edit time. See y'all in a minute. Bye. All right, y'all. Here is my screen for Bindu. We are going low tech here. Make sure we are recording. Yes, we are. Okay. First thing I do is a sort by date modified oldest. That is important for this. And then just want to look at your actives because it does pull up both your souls and your actives. So you don't want that. I, if you have a little rolly thing on your mouse, I don't know if everybody knows this. Let me go down the one and pick it. I'm going to do the soft surroundings pants. If you click on that, like it's a button, the little rolly, it will open up in a new tab. So, I will pick a bunch of them and open them up in a new tab. The ones I want to do, these are the ones I'm going to do now. It's probably too many of them. <laughs> Let's take these shoes out. All right. So, all right. Here's my tab. Very quickly, you can go here and delist. There's also on your keyboard, you can do control tab. Control tab goes to the different tabs very quickly. I use that a lot. So I just go in. There you go. Whoa, what was that one? What do we have there? It's all red. No, nope. okay. We're good. Sometimes I go a little too fast, <laughs> obviously. Now everything is del delisted from each website. And now we can go in and change up our titles. Looking at the, the front picture, make sure that's the picture I still want. You can remove the background very easily in Bindu. If you're using Bindu, obviously we don't all have Bindu and that's fine, but I'll just go ahead and show it to you since we're right here. It does a very good job of it. I don't like um, eBay's removal um, tool. I don't think it works that well. So on this one, there's not much problems with this title. It's more of, you know, I have 5 billion swimsuits. <laughs> I will take out this word women's and I'll move it over here to size. I don't feel like anymore that I need to have the word size in there. So I will take that out. And that's really all I'm going to do on this one, I think. Small, I could put the color in. I do have the room to do it. Why not? We have stripe in there. Put in the word blue. Um, I think it's okay. Do we have the word swim? Swimsuit. Swim bottom. I think swimsuit's okay. Some of them I have been adding in the word swim. Not on all of them. This is not a major ordeal, obviously. But I do like to go ahead and... It's supposed to be backspace. I did want to show y'all this. So if I type in a slash and then new, it comes up like that. I can type in slash UT and it comes up with my wording for a pre-owned top and has the measurement stuff in here already. And all I have to do is put the numbers in. i show you, that is a Chrome extension. Can y'all see up here? I'm not really sure. It's a Chrome extension called Text Blaze that you can make your own um, little descriptors that anything you use a lot of that you can put on there. Um, personally, I take this stuff off. This is how I used to do it. 
and I just add my own little thing here at the bottom. It's not necessary, obviously. I don't even know if it even helps. <laughs> but all that stuff, all this information is already in here. I don't do a lot of this now, but it's all in there now. So might as well just use it. I clean up my skew. That is not an issue for y'all. That is a personal thing. I do change my ounces because for my personal use, because I am going to list this on Macari. It wasn't recent. It wasn't listed on Macari before. So now I do want it listed on Macari. So that's why I do that. They do have this little update all, which is nice. And it makes it go through. I am going to change the price because I do want these gone. I've been pricing them at $14.99 as I go through here and do this. Click all my little update alls. That S1 that was behind here, this is the actual number of the item. That S1 was, that was behind here was for my own analytics, and I no longer do it, so there's no point in it being there. And it's just a cleanup thing. It's not really important. Okay. Now I do a save. Now I'm going to go over here to eBay. Now I know, because I've been doing these swimsuits for a little while now, that... I should put Daniel Cremo in here. Cremo is the brand. Daniel Cremo is like the full brand. I don't know if it helps or not to change that. I have been changing it because I do like to use whatever the, um, what is the word there? It's whatever is the fill in the blank for eBay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because there are people that will search by brand. Do, are people searching through the Cremo brand? Probably not. But if your brand is off and someone's clicking to look in the brand itself to see what's available, then you're missing out on that. And that's that whole left side thing in eBay and on Google, the Google searching, the sh Google shopping has that left side thing also, you know, the, the options over here. And those correspond with what, what is in eBay. We do know that eBay has said this. So I think it's very important to have those things correct because they correspond with each other. And if somebody's using Google shopping, then those things will show up because they're using the Google shopping left side screen. So I do think that's important. And we'll go into that a little bit more in a minute on some of the other listings. These listings should be correct because I did these by hand. For a little while, I was using um, Sellhound. And one of these listings, you will be able to see, this is a Sellhound listing. And you're gonna see the problems with that in a minute. And it's why I stopped using Sellhound. When I first started on Sellhound, it wasn't an issue and now it is. I don't think that's a one piece, no. I only use what is available, is what my point is. Very, very rarely will I change this. Like, I'm not going to put one piece right here. I will do it on my suit jackets. That is the only thing I do it on. I don't think there's anything to change here. There's not much you can really put in about a swimsuit, honestly. So, there you go. I had that above four. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Vindu does pull in your current information on that is available for your listings. So I have changed and cleaned up my policies recently. So that's why you were seeing where the right stuff, the, the incorrect stuff was up here. So it doesn't affect your current listings. It's just when you relist from Bindu, it does affect it. So that is something, it's a little cleanup thing that I like to do while I'm in here. But obviously if you're not using Bindu, that's not gonna matter. There we go, we are listed. Now on Poshmark, it's a little easier. Everything comes through. The little changes I made all come through. My brand is right. You will have a, a bar right here that tells you if it's not right, size small. Are we a size small? Yes. See, I go ahead and make sure my price is right. Everything's right. All right. Relist on Poshmark. And then Macari, I haven't listed it at all. So it will be, look at that. Why does it do that? What is that? Why is it going up Antonio Mulaney? There you go. I don't know why it does that. See, Macari actually has Cremo available on there, so I will use that just in case. I just do all 
I don't do the whole narrow it down to what it exactly is. I don't think it's that important on Macari and Poshmark. I don't know if it is. So, you know, don't quote me on that one. I don't know. I do lower my price a little bit on Macari because people can only offer 15% off and my pricing re is reflected on eBay. I have always a 20% off sale. So when this gets listed to eBay, it's gonna be 20% off. Poshmark, somebody likes it, they're gonna get a 20% off offer. So try to keep the pricing somewhat the same on these websites. So there you go, listed. Go to the next one. This one I wanted to do because I have sold this sweater before and then now it's sitting. And I think it is because of this terrible title. And this came from Sellhound. So Sellhound was good in the beginning. I liked it a lot. And then a couple months into me using it, they switched their pricing. It went up and it looks like they, I guess they're trying to expand and get bigger and you know, make the company bigger, that type of thing. But I noticed that I didn't like my titles as much anymore. And I noticed that a lot of the pre-filled, the information filled in on eBay, which is important, like I said, because of the Google store stuff, the shopping, it's important. Let me make sure the size is right. All right, we're good. I think that's important anyway. All right, so I'm gonna change this. We are gonna go with loft. I'm just gonna do loft sweater. Keeping it simple. And then women's extra small. Gray dolman sleeve poncho. I'm putting poncho because it is very poncho like, as you can see from this picture right here. Um, is it marled? It's not really marled. Three quarter sleeve. It is definitely a three quarter sleeve. This is the part I have troubles with is finding all the <laughs> extra stuff. <laughs> I wish it could be simpler, honestly. Um, let's see. Pullover. I guess I'll throw pullover in there. So your beginning words are the more important words because the vast majority of people are searching lost sweater women's or lost sweater extra small lost sweater you know they're not searching all this stuff so you want it to come up in the initial search and then if they are narrowing it down by different styles then that's back there to catch that all right i'm just taking out this i already have all this information which is good and then I'm taking off this old stuff and putting in my new stuff that doesn't really matter at all. But it is an indicator. I like having it in there because it's an indicator as to how old my listing is and how long it's been since. It's kind of like a backup plan, you know, that, yes, I have changed this recently because that's in there. I have no idea how much this weighs. We're just going to put it at the one pound rate. And then I am going to lower the price of this one. I think it'll sell if I lower the price. I mean, I'm not going to lower it a lot. I'm just going to go it a little bit. I do think that on this one, it was definitely the title that was the problem and not so much me because like I said, I have sold this sweater before and it sold very quickly last time. So I don't think it should be sitting like it has been sitting. I listed it seven months ago and I bet it sells within the next couple of weeks because I did this. I have been finding that that happens. All right. I am saved. Everything is updated so let's go to ebay and see how terrible y'all are gonna see it now you're gonna see what i'm talking about okay so i go in and make sure that everything is available so if it's there's no blue thing here on what they put in here then there's a problem i know all these are correct here's my optional here's my my problems with it all right, all we have here is a cotton blend. I like to put all the materials. I don't know if that's important or not. It might not be, but it is higher up. So I think it, that's a terrible picture. It's polyester, acrylic, spandex, and cotton. So back down here, polyester. That's not polyester. Acrylic, spandex. 
cotton, 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 what do we got? There you are. Three quarter sleeve, we're good there. Stretch is one of the features, yes. Sometimes I will put something else in here. I can't think of anything that would be a good extra in there, but if it had pockets, I'd throw that in there. Oversized, blah, blah, blah. It is kind of oversized, but I'm not gonna use it. Mock neck, we're good, that's a blue one. This one isn't too bad. Pattern, there you go, marled. Marled is not an option in here at all. So it shouldn't be in there. I'm gonna put solid because it's solid enough. <laughs> it's a dolman sleeve, so we can we can do that one. Um, really isn't any accents, fabric type. It's a knit. That's that's an option. I can put knit. Knit style is tight knit. Season, I can change that. Come on now. Occasion, casual, travel. That's even some work wear, why not? And then that's it. Shipping policy. And look, my returns was wrong. That means if I go into this listing on eBay, that means this was wrong. It probably says returns accepted buyer, which was another problem I was having with Sellhound that they were putting that it was buyer. Even though I had the setting correct, in their system, it still kept doing it wrong, which was really irritating me. <laughs> there we go. Relist. The ones that were already on Poshmark and Macari are the easiest because all it does is changes these. So these are super fast. They're always usually correct. I just did, did a little quick check. We're good on that one. And then Macari should be correct too. Yep. That's good. Let's, let's lower our price a little bit. I don't always cash that part. That's okay. It is what it is. I'm not making a huge amount of Macari sales anyway. I thought this would sell faster. That's why I want to do this one. I am going to do a remove background on this one since it's gray on gray. My background is gray. <clears throat> I don't think that's going to like make somebody buy it. <laughs> it just looks a little nicer. <laughs> All right. I actually don't think that looks nicer. I like the the other way, but too late now. So here you go. Here's another terrible title that I don't like. Y'all can look at the title down here to see the old title as I'm typing in the new title. So focus. Was that the full name of the brand? I felt like it was more focus casual life. Focus casual life. I'm going to go look up. Terra Peak. Focus Casual Life Cardigan. I can say about um, Cell Hound that they do have good uh, keywords. So they're not all terrible. Should they be in sweaters or jackets? I feel like it's a jacket. It's not really a cardigan because it's waffle weave. A cardigan should not be in there, I'm thinking. Let's go with that one. It is a jacket. It's an open jacket. That might be the problem. See, these don't do bad. Here we go right here. Here's one that just sold for $30. Focus Casual Life Black Waffle Button Front Jacket Lag and Look Perfect Condition. So, they sold for $30. I don't know how long it took to sell, but I feel like it should have sold. <laughs> that was one I remember when I picked it up. I was like, okay, this is not bad. And I got it at the Benz. So, there you go. Here's another kind of one, the same. Let's see if the picture comes up. Sometimes you can click on here, even if it has this little thing right here, and the picture will come up. Not always. Oh, here's one. This is probably the same thing, 25. I feel like this should have sold. You can look, if you go to the 90 days here, see how bad this sell through is. 15% sell through, so, eh, it's not great, right? Good thing it was a Benz pickup, you know, 15%. So maybe it's accurate. Maybe it shouldn't sell. Here's look, here's my cardigan right here. That's it. That's the exact one I have. I think it's cute. I liked it. Lag and look, I definitely want to add in. Cardigan jacket, oatmeal bed. That's a good title. I like that title. That's kind of some of the things I do when I'm looking. Get rid of those so I don't keep clicking on them. Okay. You know what? 
I'm just going to copy and paste that one. I actually like that title. I'm going to throw it down here, and I'm going to use some of that. I have terrible memory, so I'll just do that. All right. So now you can already see the problems with that old title. This one did not have the casual life, the, the full name of the cardigan in it. Focus casual life. I'm going to do the cardigan jacket. I like that. I'm not going to. Y'all are going to see how terrible I am with typing also. It's a small. Yeah, it's a small. Women's small. Definitely is a lagging. It's a waffle. We'll do waffle first. Waffle. Not that it really matters. Lagging look. I'm just going to put, is it gray? I think it's gray. Gray cotton. Is it cotton? Let's make sure. I don't want to lie. 100% cotton. Yes. All right. There we go. That's better. I feel like. Focus casual life. Cardigan jacket. Women's small. Waffle. Lag and look. Gray. Cotton. And we can get rid of all of this mess. I could have put waterfall. I could have put asymmetrical. There's a lot here. You know, the last one you we were just doing had hardly anything. And this one has got a ton. I could put open front, three-quarter sleeve. There's so much I can put in on this one because it's got such good little details in it. But we're just going to go with that because the recent sales show those. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> the recent sales are showing that as... Coming up. Nope. Gray closet. Okay, so on these the ones I have in my closet, I've been putting the date behind as oh, did you see that? You probably didn't. Let me show you something here. Look down here, auto copied. That is another extension, the auto copy. Another thing, auto copy right there. It's an extension. And anytime I highlight anything, it's auto copied. It's just one little, one less step I have to do when I'm working. I like having. It's really nice if you're looking up um, newer items and you want to copy some of the descriptors. Some of the um, 38. Is 38 a good price? Hmm. I'm going to go with. I'm going to lower it a little bit to $32.99. I think it will, let's see, 23 Oof, maybe I should lower it more. Just get it out of here. It is taking space up in the closet, so these are the things I think about. Yep, we're going to do 29 We're going to do this correctly. I do that every time. I drive myself crazy with that. Update, update, update. We are updated down there. Yes, save. Okay. That was a really good one to show y'all, right? So why does it not, this did not go through. I didn't like the way it took out my background. Sometimes the background doesn't come through. Picture doesn't come through. I'm, I don't like that one anyway. <laughs> if I did a refresh, it probably would come through. You know, things are buggy. Nothing's perfect. We've talked about that before. Let's put, see if this comes up on this one. Probably not. Your brand doesn't always come up. There's so many brands out there. We're going to see some problems here. I promise you that. I'm going to take it out of the sweaters category, first of all. But I want to show this to y'all first because I know it's going to be, it's going to be a perfect example of what I change is open a see open's not even an option here so there's no point in having it there okay and didn't it say it was pre-shrunk that is actually one ah pre-shrunk look at that that is actually one so i'll add that in there regular sleeve is that an option that's not an option don't put it knit no it's not really knit it's waffle knit is like I guess it could kind of be well yeah there we go never mind that's an option there i'll use it but i'll add some other stuff so 
I'm going to take it out of the sweaters category, so it's going to wipe all of these, and I'll have to redo all of them, which is fine. I feel like it's going to sell better in the jackets category. There is another tip for y'all. Go back over here. Let's, if we do, there we go. This brings it back to where we were. So if I put that in, didn't do it. That's not it. It was me. I'm trying to think of something. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Lauren Ralph. Lauren. Sport coat. Okay, you go in here and you see Lauren Ralph Lauren's sports coat. Here, see it comes up, these two come up. More of them are going to be in here than here. Does that make sense? This means that there's more sold in this category than this category. Does that mean that they sell for more in this category or this category? No. So let's look. 3,000, 3,200, 34, 69 is your average. Now let's go look over here. See? So more people are putting them in the other category. But it's selling for more over here. So this is the one I would actually use on this one, strangely enough. If I put in blazer, I think it's opposite. No, it's not. How far down it is now? 85. So you definitely want to check that if you have something that could possibly be in two different look. So if you're using blazer and the suit and suit separates, it sells for a lot less. And it looks like in general these sell for a lot less in the suit and suit separates. So that is something if you're using Terapeak, that is definitely something to consider too, is making sure you're checking both categories when you're listing something. Okay. Back to this. <laughs> Where's my jackets? There we go. Okay, here we are. It is a codigan. It is definitely that. Small it is cotton, not cashmere. I'd be a lot faster if I could type faster, type better. I so wish they had better options in this category. This is one of my least favorite the style they really need to update i almost always pick basic they really really need to update that i really hate it Prio, we're good there all right optional so this one's like a total rehaul this was a very good one to show y'all i don't know how i got that lucky <laughs> i don't think waffle's gonna be in here i think it technically is a knit we'll, we'll keep that knit thing there features um, all seasons, it's, I don't remember if it's collar or Sakara, it's not that important, so I'm not going to throw it on there. It is lightweight. It's a really nice jacket. Honestly, if it would have been in my size, I probably would have kept that one too. I liked it. Open, 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 open. There's no accents. Pattern is solid. <clears throat> Mid-length. That's one that they get a, they get wrong a lot, a whole whole lot. Closure, it is doesn't really have a closure, does it? No, it doesn't. I'm gonna throw some of these. I don't feel like this is one of those things that people really search a lot. I think if you're doing um, formal dresses, this is important. These two. Probably occasion is not that important when it comes to this type of stuff. I go ahead and do it because I'm here anyway and I'm talking through this so this is taking a lot longer than it normally would but normally you know that's just a really quick ad so I don't mind throwing it in there. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice. Alrighty we changed everything on that one. This one's probably going to be yep change this one too. Yuck. I hate the ones where I have to change the where's my jackets? The category. I just do none on these. I don't know if that's important or not. I know there's people that say it is, but I don't I don't really uh 
prescribe to that one. <laughs> I, I don't think it's that important, honestly. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong on that one. Could be. No, we don't want sweaters. We want jackets. We want coats and jackets. There we go. Small. This is good. Seven on that. There we go. All right, on to the next one. This one has been sitting for too long. When did I list this? Yes, seven months. I thought this would sell a lot faster. It's a super cute dress. I love my picture. Um, it's a great size. I think this one's a title problem, honestly. And I think there was a style to this one. I am pretty sure there was a style to this one, actually. You do a right click. You can search your images with Google. Oops, I'm not used to having to do that. Okay, let's see if it pops up what the actual name of the dress is. My listings pop up. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah, you see that? <laughs> uh huh. See, look, it's a Sisley dress. There you go. So we want that to pop up. We want the name. There's another problem with, see that? I just highlighted that. Cute, look how cute it is. Sisley dress pops up. There we go. Now I can look in Terra Peak. Paste. Tula Rosa. Sisley dress. I only have 90 days on here, so let's go with research. Oh no, she is not, wow. I don't think it's because she's rare. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Poshmark. We'll look over here, see what happens. Tula Rosa is definitely more popular on this web, there you go. Tula Rosa, like I was going to say, is definitely more popular. Revolve brands are definitely more popular on um, Poshmark than they are on eBay. So, lots of them available. That is not a good sign. Let's see. Sold. What was that, like six of them? There we go. There's one sold for 25, 20, 40. That one's new with tags. 22. All right, I need to lower my price. 20. 35, 35, so that's another problem with, um, <clears throat> excuse me, another problem with using Cellhound is that their comps are off sometimes, honestly. So, I'm not happy with that either. All right, so let's do this. Tula Rosa, let's spell Sicily correctly. <laughs> Dress women's. Is it a small? I don't think it was. It was, a, it was extra large, wasn't it? Yep, extra large. Nice. Oh, I saw a tip. You saw my picture there with the pen, how I'm holding that tag down like that. I saw a tip yesterday where somebody uses um, knitting needles to do that. So it looks nice. And I was like, oh, I could use. Um, what's the thing she uses sushi with? <laughs> Honestly, I use my finger most of the time. <laughs> I'm so over. I don't care if my fingers show in my pictures. So, I don't I, I, I don't get all like, excited about all that. Anyway, what's that? That's a nice sage green. I'm going to have trouble finding, uh, let's see, ruffles. Cotton. It was 100% cotton. Puff sleeve. Puff sleeve's good. And eyelet. 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 It's more of a bishop sleeve, but we're going to go with puff sleeve. I don't think a lot of people are putting bishop sleeve in their searches. Most people have never even heard of a bishop sleeve. Now, if I was listing this right now, I would put bishop in here somewhere. And I am going to actually use, when I get into eBay, you'll see I'll put the bishop in there. All right. Green, blah, 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 dresses. We are good there. We need to definitely lower our price on that. I'm going to put it at $29.99. That one worked that time. <laughs> we'll put it at $29.99 because 20% off of that is $24. So we're right there. 
in the right spot. I paid too much for that one. Oh well. Okay. We like that better. So, be sure that my stuff came through. It did. There we go. To a rosa green color. Good there. Dresses, extra large, regular. Here you go. Is that, that's, I don't think that's a, it's not a wrap dress for sure. And also, this option is not even in here. So, get that out of here. It's kind of fit and flare. This one's kind of, um, it's kind of an A-line. It's not really above knee. Not an option. Not an option. Short. Use the options. See, that really irritates me. This is a long sleeve. I have this over here because it is nice to have these pictures available to you as you're listing it. Here's my picture. I use mine. Um, I like that, that to be able to look at it while I list it. Solid is in there. Occasion casual. You can throw some other stuff in there. Obviously, party and cocktail. Uh, even wedding I would throw in there and workwear I would throw in there. Cotton keyhole neck. Is that available? No. No, it's not. So why is it in there? Once again. Miss ma'am. You not hear my puppy? I'm going to let her in. Come on. You're so bad. So that's not available. Taking it out. Round neck. I think, and look, eyelet, eyelet, not in here, not in here. Why is it on there? Stop it. I'm not good at the fabric types. I'm going to be honest on that one. <laughs> I don't do a lot of the theme. Um, unless it's like a really like obvious hippie theme or whatever, preppy theme or something like that. I, I don't normally do the themes. It's got to be a really obvious thing for me to, to throw the theme in there. I'm going to put... Spring, fall, and winter on that. I'm okay with that. It is a pullover. I think it has a zip side. I'm pretty sure it has a zip side. Right? How do you get into this thing if it doesn't have a zip side? Maybe it doesn't. Hmm. All right. Fine. Accents. Ruffle. Ruffle's not, not, there's no ruffle in here. What are you doing? Why is that there? Ay, ay, ay. Terrible. Oh, that one is an option on that one. Cool. Whoops. Let's see. What do we got here? It's not asymmetric. It is... It does have keyhole neck. It is lightweight. It's actually a really nice dress, honestly. Kind of surprised it hasn't sold yet, but we saw the results over there on Poshmark, so... Until La Rosa, I'm not finding sales all that well anymore. I used to pick it up a good bit, but I'm not finding it does much of anything anymore. So, probably one of those brands I'm going to leave behind for now on. I have a couple things in that brand. Used to sell pretty well. Pretty nice and consistently. But, it does not anymore. Alright, that's it on that one. And then these should be fast and easy. Done. Do, 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 do. Extra large. I'm go with 27 on that one. I usually take around 10% off. Um, I could have done, I could have came in here. If I was listing and this came up right here, if I was listing this myself, I would probably copy this stuff and put it in my description. I'm not really that worried about. That was actually something that was good on Zellhound. Their descriptions were fine. I didn't have a problem with them. So, there you go. Go away, lady. All right, next one. This is another one that was done by Zellhound. I feel like it should have sold quickly, and it never did. And then I want to do another. I think this is really pretty. It's just Lulu's, nothing special. And I don't sell Lulu's very well, honestly. Should have a name though, first of all. I bet it comes up. See? It did come up. So cute. 
um, lady selling it for 75 that's not gonna happen <laughs> sorry to tell you there's mine look it's everywhere it's very popular it's so cute too I bet there's a ton of them wouldn't surprise me and actually this one they did actually have the name of it very good so let me copy that water lilies go over to Terra Peak. I go ahead and check the prices on these things because they've been sitting long enough to where you know maybe the prices went up or down so I want it probably hasn't went up if it had been bought if it didn't if it went up <laughs> somebody would have bought it by now definitely want to change this to pre-owned on that because it does make a difference mine is pre-owned and it has a flaw I saw my finger pointing to something so yep that means there's a flaw they're not major flaws you can barely even see them <laughs> but I still point uh, that's a little snag right there see see pictures for pointing out flaws some pools present there you go Anyway, 26 bucks and 43 cents is what I should be selling this for. So let's go change all of this. I am not going to take that all out. Let's see. There we go. Wondrous Willies, Water Dress, Women's Small. Isn't it actually Wrap Dress? I don't know. Black Floral. Maxi, long sleeve. It's not an actual wrap, it's a faux wrap. Faux wrap is important though. Wraps are important. Wraps are very popular. Um, actual wraps and not faux wraps are really popular, but I'll go ahead and throw that faux wrap in there just to maybe somebody that's looking for wrap dresses, maybe that'll pop up, you know. Alright. Hulu's pre owned black. Skew's good. Price is terrible. Way, way overpriced. So if you use Cellhound, they're the ones that put that price in there. So, and I was not checking it. My mistake. Should definitely be checking it. So $26 is the average. So I'm going to go with probably $34.99. I'm going to check that. $34.99 times. 0.8 there we go 27 bucks and if I send out offers of 10% of off 0.9 not divided times you can't see <laughs> what I'm clicking on <laughs> there we go so there's 25 right there so we are right there so we're going to do the 34 dollars that's what we're going to do so it'll be right in the average when I send out offers. And if it sells for more than the, what the average is, that's good. But it's only going to be a couple of dollars, which is just fine with me. If it sells for $27.99, I'm happy. I go ahead and press the update all. I don't know if it went through or not, but just, you know. Sometimes we say five times just to make sure it goes through. <laughs> Look at that. This isn't coming up correctly. It's because there's an apostrophe. See, little things, little things. But if somebody's searching in the brand itself, mine's not gonna come up. It will on eBay if they just put in apostrophe S. But if you're over on the Google shopping and they're searching in the brand, it's not gonna come up. Maxi, that's not, oh yeah, that one is. No, it's gonna be this one that's wrong. I think Maxi, is Maxi over here? Oh, it's not over here either. So there you go. It is definitely a line. It is. Oh, Maxi. There you go. It was in there. This is the one that's incorrect. There's no Maxi over here. Long is what you want over there. Like I said, you want the options that are available. Long sleeve is available. Floral is available. Casual is available. I'm going to throw in wedding because you could definitely wear that to a wedding. Super cute. Party, business, neckline, surplus is not in there. V neck. I don't think that's knit. I think that's chiffon. I know it's chiffon. I know it's chiffon. It's like a chiffon overlay. It's really pretty. 
steam, flower, yeah, I'll leave that. I don't care about that one. Fall, spring, summer. And in Louisiana, you can wear that dress in the winter. <laughs> Pullover, yes. Long sleeve. What kind of sleeve does this have on it? Can't tell. Is it a puff sleeve? It's a bishop sleeve, I bet. Look, it even talks about wedding guest outfit idea. So he told you to wear it to a wedding. She says so. She has a blog. Obviously, she knows. Where was I? Sleeve tight to bishop sleeve. They don't have bishop sleeve in here, so I just use I just use um, puff sleeve. Pleated. I don't care for that. Lightweight it is definitely lightweight. It is. What are you doing? What are you chewing on? All right, this is the last one I'm gonna do. I think y'all get the, did you stretch the um, waist has stretch in it? I think y'all get the point, all right? Let's see how many mistakes I have. And I am a type A person. <laughs> I am very type A. <laughs> For me to have this many mistakes is absolutely horrible. <laughs> very cringy for me to see all these mistakes. It makes me uh, just uh, so cringy. So cringy! Small. Look at that wedding guess. <laughs> the blogger lady said so. Thirty-two. All right, that is it. I have one more you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do that because I don't want to forget about it. We don't want to do that. I am forgetful. I'm type A, but I am forgetful. This is a pair of soft surroundings. I feel like these should have sold by now, too. We could do the remove background, but this picture looks pretty good, right? Nice. Nice wide waist there. These look comfy. What size are these? Size small. Of course they're size small. Nothing size small will ever freaking sells. I'm going to do a quick Google search. I don't think this is going to come up. This is one of those types of things that are so common that good luck finding it on the internet. But we'll do it just to see what happens. There's somebody's listing. I'm not looking for people's listings. I am looking for actual name. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Not worry about it. I didn't think it would come up. It's not distinctive enough to come up, honestly. But soft surroundings, women's jeggings. No, nobody's searching for jeggings. This is not 19 or 2002 where people are looking for jeggings, okay? All right. Soft surroundings. I could do pull on jeans. I could do elastic waist jeans. I'm just gonna throw jeans in there for now. So that it comes up as the general, you know, if somebody's looking for a pair of soft surroundings, small jeans. Soft surroundings jeans, women's small, blue, denim, pull on. Um, <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying the sounds of the puppy underneath me. What are you chewing on? Give me that. She loves to just pick up random stuff and chew on it. Spit that out. Sorry, pull on elastic waist pants. I'm gonna throw pants in there because they are kind of pants, right? Okay, there we go. That's better. All right, there we have all that. That's all good. Like I said, their descriptions weren't bad. I didn't. I didn't mind their descriptions. They need a description service. Actually, I don't even do descriptions anymore. My descriptions now. Is literally, um, I'll show y'all actually. They created newest. Let these pull up. I'll show y'all in a minute. Let me go back to this, finish it, and then I'll show that to y'all. Um, I'm not gonna look up these. I don't care what they sell for at this point. I'm gonna get them low price and get them out of here. 
I have no doubt if I look this up, there's going to be 5 billion of them because it's such a common, I should have put soft in, it's okay because it's going to come up anyway. There's a pair, $8.49. There you go. See what I mean? Pull on. There's a pair, $12.99. I'll be lucky if I get $15 for them. Pull on, $18. There you go. See what I mean? See what I mean? Pull on. It does seem like pull on is a keyword, though. That's just good. So I can get a more accurate. Let's actually put the actual name of the whole thing in here. There we go. There's your average. Let's make sure. Ooh. Be like 19. Yeah, there we go. $19. That's more like it. So, what did um, Sell Hound tell me I would sell them for? I don't remember now. I already changed it. That's much better. These should go quickly now. Okay, you're looking good there. You got jeans, it's jeggings. We have jeggings here. That's gross. Nobody wants jeggings. I don't know what to call these. There we go, tapered. Regular is good. Women pre-owned, we're good there. Nobody cares about the wash. And also, this isn't even in here. There we go. If we're gonna do it, let's do it right. They are elastic waist, they are comfort pants, they are probably easy care, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking of the customer here, the things that I'm choosing. So that's what the customer's looking for, for South Surroundings. South Surroundings is pretty much known for their um, comfortable clothes. Does these have pockets? It doesn't look like it. No pockets. Solid, high rise, denim, regular fit, inseam is actually in there, but it's not done correctly because this is not, cannot be chosen, but that can be chosen, so let's use that one. See, see my issue? <laughs> Pull on is not an option here, so we'll keep going. They are all season pants. There we go. Is this even in jean? Okay, yeah. It's in jeans, I'm making sure. Just making sure we didn't get it all wrong. Alrighty, now let's list that. <clears throat> Alright, this is the last one. These two should be quick and eat. Why is there a custom here? Oh, it's because it's jeans. Mm. I don't like the way that Poshmark and Macari do that, where they want the Your only option, if you don't use other, see, they don't have a small. I really, really don't like that. I'm going to go put it on our pants. Does the pants have small? I don't really remember, honestly. <laughs> that really irritates me. Like, give us all the size, yeah. Say, look, pants you can put small. Jeans you can't. Some jeans come in smalls. Obviously. And I think Poshmark, I mean, Macari is the same way. Pretty sure. Now, if they're not a stretchy pair of pants, I will just come up here to my my um, measurements. Now, these I don't wouldn't do that with. But these would be a 29. You know, just double that number and it would be a 29. But because these are stretchy, these aren't really a 29 even. You know, they're probably more of like a 31. Because, look, I did do it there. See? See? <laughs> I'll leave it. It's a whatever on this one. I think these are going to sell on eBay now. Now that I did that. Alright, let me show you all my descriptions now. This one was copied. So this is co this one's copied from Revolve's website. I was able to look them up very quickly. I'm, these are Mother's Snack Jeans. And it has the name right there. So, Remember I was talking about copying it from other websites? There you go. I am a stealer. I don't care. Same thing with this one. This one would be, yeah, this is copied from Barry's website. This one, couldn't find. 
So that's all I got. That's all I'm doing. And my cell through is good, so it's, it works. I don't have a problem. People don't really care about all that stuff. If it's something I've already looked up, because I was looking for the style name, and I already have the information I'll throw it on there, because, you know, it's literally highlighted, and it's copied for me, and I just paste it, so I don't care that, you know, that it's on there. But here's another one, James Purse Shorts. Just, that's it. You don't need to have, you know, elastic waist, blah, 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 blah. I, I, just, I just don't think it's that important, honestly. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. You, you do you, as usual. But I don't care for all that. All right, y'all. I'm going to get off of here. And I hope you all have a great day, as usual. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.